day 22 of Vlogmas. It is Friday. I'm really looking forward to starting the weekend. James has his last day of school today. Glenn is at the office before having a few days off and I am taking next week off. I am really excited to just have a super quiet week. I love that week. I think some people call it Twixmas, but it's just the coziest week filled with food and movies and knitting and family time. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've had a couple of days to start winding down a little bit and have slower days, which is really nice. Yesterday, I spent quite a bit of time catching up on one of my favorite Vlogmases, Cami Jo Knits. I was really behind. It's been so difficult to keep up with all of the Vlogmases that I would like to, but I know that in the next few days, even after Christmas, I will catch up on all of the ones that I can. I am really enjoying Camilla's Vlogmases. They are so refreshing. She is such a ray of sunshine. She is super positive. She has a wonderful energy. She is a mom, uh, a businesswoman, an entrepreneur. She shares her experiences with her new dye studio and um, a peer or friend of hers that she shares a space with. It's just really fun to watch what she is doing in Denmark, the meals she's making, the knitting. She's such a talented lady and I really adore her. So I wanted to share her Vlogmas again because I've been totally immersing myself in all things Cami Jo Knits at the moment. She even has me really inspired to cast on an anthology throw with one of my advents. I'm trying to be good and not cast on too many things, but she is really tempting me. And I'm not sure what that pattern is like. It looks beautiful, it looks fun. If you've knit one, let me know if you think it is a fun, easy knit, or if you think I have enough on my needles, you can let me know. While I was watching Vlogmases yesterday, I did a little bit of work and finished up most of my heel. I shouldn't say finished, but of my Advent sock. So I've put in the heel flap, the gusset, and now I am just starting the decreases for the leg. I'm loving it. It's really fun. It's a really fun knit. I love these colors so much. They just make me happy. So this is pretty much all I've been working on for the last day or so. I was too tired last night to do any knitting. I think I've just needed a couple of earlier nights lately. So I'm going to bed quite early with no energy to knit. I'm just watching Vlogmases or reading and trying to get some rest. Because today I am attempting to make our two favorite Christmas cookies. So I'll do double batches of two different cookies this afternoon. And I'm contemplating running out again because there's one Christmas gift I wanna pick up. And I don't have to, but I'm kind of tempted to do it. And it's Friday morning still, so maybe I could sneak out to the store, do it super quickly, get back and have that done. And then this afternoon, I will do some baking, I will clean the kitchen for the weekend, and then it's on to Christmas Eve prep. I think I might do a little bit of the food prep starting tomorrow. I've got my bacala fish to start soaking. I wanna make that for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I've got a few things to prepare to bring to my sister's house on Christmas Eve, so I'm just, trying to do things in advance so nothing feels too rushed. And I definitely feel like this year it's slowing down a bit, which was kind of a goal of mine. It's the mindset I went into this holiday season with. We paired back on gifts this year. I've paired back on trying all of the new recipes all of the time. And I've just been slowing down and it feels really good. The boys are older, so everything is working out nicely. And I'm just really looking forward to spending time with family and friends 
this holiday season. It's been one of my priorities to just get out more, to see people, to um, enjoy people more. So that is on the agenda. It's Friday. I am ready to start the weekend, get a few things wrapped up and just start enjoying the holiday weekend. I've grabbed my recipes for this afternoon. These are the two cookies that I make every single year. This is Glenn's favorite. It's on the cover of the Martha Stewart's Cookies cookbook. It's pretty popular. I've seen tons of people make it. I first made it um, when I spotted it in her magazine. I have her Christmas cookie magazine tucked away somewhere in the kitchen and I found it in there. It's the Chewy Chocolate Gingerbread Cookies. My poor book needs a little bit of um, doctoring here to tape it back together. They are delicious. I'll start making these ones first because you need to chill the dough in the fridge for a little while. And then I will move on to another favorite. They are called Shortbread Meltaways. They're actually from the Robin Hood Flower website. Um, and again, I found these in a little like a Christmas brochure many, many years ago and fell in love with them. I've given the recipe to pretty much everyone I know and everyone started calling them Sandy's Shortbread Meltaways because they're my favorite. So I've got my score chippets to put in those and I will make a double batch and then I am going to put those in my new little cookie jar that I got at Walmart yesterday. How cute is this? I thought it was so pretty and I'm always struggling to find things to put my cookies in that are not Tupperware. There's nothing wrong with Tupperware, but I like to keep them all in the dining room here and I just thought this would be a really pretty way to stash those shortbread meltaways. And I think it's festive but I can keep this out here all through January. I don't feel like this is overly Christmas and I'm one of those people that I will enjoy the house on Boxing Day, but the day after Boxing Day, I am already itching to start taking down the decorations. There have been days or there have been years where I've actually taken the tree down on the 27th. So I just do whatever I feel like that particular year but with all of the advents and all of these Christmas decorations and this furniture placement because of my tree, because I have all of that in here starting for December 1st, which is kind of early for me, but ever since I started doing Vlogmas, I like to have everything up for December 1st. By the time Boxing Day is here, I'm kind of over it. I just wanna tear everything down vacuum and start fresh again so this room kind of gets to me so this is usually the room that i tackle first but i am enjoying it for the moment and i love my new cookie jar i got it at walmart and it was super inexpensive to begin with and then when i checked out it was even cheaper so i think it came out to like 11 dollars canadian which is kind of crazy it's like the cost of a meal at McDonald's these days. But yeah, I am enjoying my mugs. I'm enjoying my new cookie jar. I am going to bake today. And if I don't get to baking all of these cookies today, that's fine because you can refrigerate overnight. I might do one batch today, another batch tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. And I'm just going to enjoy my coffee and make the executive decision if I'm going to go out this morning or not.
everyone, it is just after four o'clock. James just got home from school and that means we are all officially on Christmas break around here. Although I don't really feel like my break starts until Boxing Day, but that's okay. It is official. Christmas is practically here. I had a really productive and fun day today. I am so glad that I decided to go out late this morning, I brought Camden with me. We went to the mall that's nearby and it's not too big. And we just hit a couple of stores in hopes of finding a few small things to add on to a few people's gifts. I didn't know what I was looking for and none of it was a real necessity, but I ended up finding something small for everyone that I was thinking about, including Glenn, which was kind of a treat because he is so hard to shop for and we decided to not really buy each other too many Christmas gifts this year. We're just keeping it simple because there's nothing we really really need and we usually just buy what we want occasionally anyways and we have a couple of home projects coming up so we just thought let's just focus on those keep Christmas gifts simple this year which works for us but I did find him something, so at least he will have something kind of fun and it'll be a surprise under the tree. Then Camden and I went to the grocery store that's attached to the mall and it's kind of a nicer one. It's called Farm Boy. I really like it there. And sometimes when Camden and I are running errands together and we're in that area, we will go to Farm Boy and pick up some sushi for lunch and eat it in the car. It was really nice to just sit and relax with him and eat in the car. I don't know why we like that, but it's kind of our thing. So we did that, we came home and I started my baking. I've got one batch of cookie dough chilling in the fridge and I've got another batch of cookies all done and put away. I cleaned the kitchen. I don't know yet if I'm going to bake those cookies that are chilling tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, but either way, I have been super productive and it feels really, really good because I haven't been frantic and that's the best feeling around this time of year. And so before I start to think about dinner, I wanted to come up to my studio and kind of just sort out what I want to focus on because I have felt a little bit scattered I'm kind of like a kid in a candy store with so many things. And when things slow down after a busy time, which they have with the whole Christmas rush and December being super busy for me, when things slow down, I feel like I don't know what to do first. I feel like my brain is still spinning and I need to sort of just take it down, take it down and slow things down in my head so that I'm a little bit more focused and not just wondering what am I gonna do next and what needs to be done. So I'm trying to just enjoy the moments, but I really needed to assess the knitting situation because I've been working on my Advent socks a little bit yesterday and today, but I haven't touched anything else. And so I wanted to gather my projects, figure out what I'm working on next and I pulled out my Sophie scarf because I love it, but it's been very lonely in its project bag over here. Oh, it looks so good with this sweater. I thought this one might be a nice one to knit on tonight. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Bring this one downstairs and just keep working away on it. I wanted to share. I mentioned the other day that I am really excited to knit a couple of sweaters next year. And I think in January, I might actually film a video for YouTube with my dream knitting plans, um, some goals that I have, because I feel like after a year of not making a lot of stuff, I had quite a few months of very, very little knitting, um, many, many days without knitting, without quilting, without journaling, without a lot of the things that I love. Um, that's one of the reasons why I didn't film very much for YouTube last year. 
but I have some goals for 2024. And so I think it might be fun to do a video in January and share some of them with you because I'm super excited. And I've already started thinking and dreaming and planning and I ordered a sweater kit the other day. I do have a lot of sweater quantities of yarn for sweater patterns that I have in mind. But I was online the other day and I found the most beautiful cardigan I have ever seen. It's so gorgeous, you guys. I had to buy the kit. Look at those sleeves. Oh my gosh. I'll share the details in a second, but look at it. It's so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I ordered the kit. The kit comes with the pattern. I ordered it in this exact color. It is called the Amapola Cardigan Kit. It's a pattern designed by Claudia Q for Unit. And I ordered the kit directly from them. So this is the name of the store. It's located in Toronto. I think I've only been there once or twice, 10 or 12 years ago. I'm pretty sure I bought one of the most beautiful sets of wood DPN needles from this shop. Brittany needles, if I'm remembering correctly. And it was beautiful because they had fabric and yarn in the shop, but it's kind of out of my way a little bit. I don't usually go into that area. And so I've very rarely been there, but I would like to change that in the new year. The sweater kit came in this beautiful drawstring bag. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know if you're getting a really good representation of the color because it's getting really dark outside and it's 420. But it's heavenly. It is pink, but it's soft and kind of dirty and dusty and I love it. So the yarns for this kit are Drops Air. This color is number 34. And it will be held with Sadness Garn Tin Silk Mohair in the color Putter Rosa. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my next sweater cast on after my Chunky Dahlia. I love this bag. I love everything about this. So I'm going to keep working on my Chunky Dahlia sweater, but that one is probably going to be my next one. I also have another sweater that I really want to cast on. So I'm looking forward to making that list. I'm going to pull out all the patterns, all the yarns, and I might even take a photo of them all spread out on my big um, cutting table here so I can keep it as a reference on my phone and just remind myself whenever I want something new to pick from those projects. So I'm going to just organize a little bit in here, kind of get my creative projects lined up for the next few days so that they are really easy to grab and I'm not stumbling over what to do next. I just need a little bit of mental clarity because I just, I get so carried away in my head sometimes and I wanna do all of the things. It's one of the reasons I make those lists and I like to plan and I share a lot of my ideas and plans in videos because it's a way for me to talk it out, um, work it out. And it's kind of how I stay organized. I'm not super organized. I know sometimes people think I am, but I'm not really that organized in my head. It's all a blur. So I'm going to do a 15, 20 minute kind of tidy up in here and sort out what I'm working on and then I'm gonna head into the weekend with lots of joy and lots of knitting. And I feel like I am on track. I hope you guys are not feeling 
too overwhelmed. I know this time of year can be very hectic, but you can only do what you can do. And that's what I'm gonna do too.